Total stopping distance. Total stopping distance breaks down into four parts. Your speed, your perception, your reaction, and your braking distance. So these are ideal condition estimates. There's a lot of variables that can change this. So you have your speed, we can control that. Your perception and reaction, so speed versus time equals distance. So they got 30 feet. So 30 feet at 25 miles per hour will be your perception. So you see something happening, your brain recognizes. Uh-oh, your reaction is move your foot to the brake pedal. Now comes your braking distance. So you just traveled 60 feet, now your braking distance. Average, it'll be 65 feet. This is where the variables can change quickly or add and make changes. So that these can change with your load, the type of tractor, single or uh, twin axle. Uh, whether you're in, it's raining, it's snowing, you're on hills, you're uphill, downhill, twists and turns, whether you're on asphalt, concrete, all about grip. So these can change. Two key methods to follow are eye lead time, make sure you're looking down the road, and your following distance, maintaining that space in front of you so you have more distance and time to stop. Thank you.